Hello everyone, this is Amr Asker, the founder of Asker Politics. Today we have a very interesting case that complaining of protrusion. And as you know, we have three types of protrusion. Protrusion due to class 2 division 1, or protrusion due to gummy smile, or protrusion due to Pimax. In this case, we have two causes of protrusion. The first one is class 2 division 1, which is severe, and the other one is gummy smile. So for this case, just smile. Hello, Smile. Maximum. We have view double smile about one centimeter, and if we diagnose the overjet for the patient, we have deep bite, which is traumatic deep bite, and for the overjet here, it's like twelve millimeter overjet. And the lower incisor is touching the palatal mucosa of the upper incisor. So it's traumatic. So the patient complaining of uh, difficulty in eating, especially for a long time. So from cephalometric x-ray, we have prognathic maxilla and deficiency in the mandible. And here, it's very large overjet. So the appliance of a choice is twin clock incorporating two tubes to attach the face bow of the headgear. So that's the first part or the upper part of twin plug with two tubes here in the right and in the left. And here we can attach the face bow like that. And now it's the delivery time. So you can insert it like this and just make pressure here and here. And for the lower part, just insert that part like this, you can open. And make sure that it's retentive, so no falling at sleeping time. And instruct the patient to close. So close in edge to edge relation. And if the patient can't bite the edge to edge to relation, just make protrusion as much as you can. And for the upper part, we will attach the high pole head gear to help us to treat the gummy smile and the class two division one. So here we attach it in the second hole to activate like 450 grams. And here in the outer bow, we have three levels. So in most of cases, I chose this level, the last one. And the outer bow is short outer bow. And be sure that the head gear is in the middle of the head here and in the middle of the head here. So now the patient should read this as much as you can, not less than 12 hours per day. And the progress about two millimeter per month. And during the removal, it's very, very simple. Just make this and this and Remove the upper part, remove the lower part, and be sure that the U-shape of the inner bow is in the same direction like the short labial bow. So that's it, and see you in the follow-up visits. Bye-bye.